Hi, and welcome to AD Academy. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a block diagram for a very simple RLC circuit. As we know that RLC circuit means the circuit that consists of a, capa uh, of a resistor, inductor, and a capacitor. In this diagram, the output is being taken across a capacitor, which is known as V out, and the input voltage has been given across a resistor, which is named as V in. So to draw the block diagram, we have to first determine the direction of a current and the voltages in this diagram. As we can see, the voltages is being given in this direction, which means the current will flow from here and go down and we will name it as a I. And if the current is flowing in downward direction, which means the voltages are going to flow across these components in the opposite direction, which we can draw in this way. And the voltage across the resistor has been represented by VR, the voltage across the inductor represented by VO, and the voltages across the capacitor has been represented by VC. Now, in order to draw the block diagram, first of all, we have to find out few terms from this diagram, which are named as VT, which is our V total, we have to find we have to find out the VR, which is the voltage drop across the resistor, the voltage drop across the capacitor, and the voltage drop across an inductor. So to draw these uh, the block diagram, we're going to find out the equations for each of these terms one by one. So let's first of all, we jump on finding out the total voltages of the circuit. As we know, VT can be taken from V in because that is our input voltages, which is definitely equal to the total voltages, and that are equal to the voltage drop across the resistor plus the voltage drop across the capacitor and the voltage drop across an inductor. And that is our equation number one. So as we're done with equation number one, we'll jump on equation number two, which is a very simple equation, which is a voltage drop across the resistor. As we know from Ohm's law, that its state, I'm just gonna write on the Ohm's law here, Ohm's law, it says, voltages are equals to the product of a current and the resistor. Resistor is equals to voltage times the reciprocal of a current, and we know current is equals to the reciprocal of a voltages times one over R. So um, as we have to find out the voltage drop across the resistor, which is VR, and the V is given here. However, this R is just representing the name of the component across which we are trying to find out the voltages. However, V is the actual formula that we have to find out, and which is V equals to IR. So we are going to um, equate it to the product of current with the R. However, R is the amount of a resistance, which is in ohms and let's give this equation equation number two now we'll go to equation number three which is finding out the voltages across a capacitor as we know a capacitor is a special device that is used to store the charge in it and uh, we use a formula which is for charge which is q equals to c times the voltages of a capacitor and as we have to find out the vc so we're going to make vc as our subject and multiply 1 over c times with the q one thing which is very important in control system engineering that we cannot use this charge directly because we have to uh, represent it in a uh, in, in in terms of integral section because charge is not what you can directly find out however it is it can be represented in terms of current integration which we can say the integration of a current with respect to time will give us charge so by replacing this q as integration of i dt we can rewrite this equation and can say vc is equals to 1 over c times the integration of a current with respect to time. Now, let's give this equation, equation number three. Now, jumping on our final equation, which is finding out the voltages across an inductor, which I would recommend to very simple, which is VL are equal to the amount of an inductance of an inductor in Henry times the, in the derivation of a current 
with respect to time will give us the voltages across inductor now we got our all necessary equations which are more than enough to draw the block diagram which i am just simply going to underline for our ease which is v in our vr vc and vl so they are named as equation number one two three and four now we can start drawing the block diagram by looking at these equations and this is my recommendation if we can uh, start drawing the block diagram from the inductor section because that would be easier for you and can make more sense for the beginners now I would like you guys to remember one thing that when I'm having if I want to get a current which would be if I in there if I send this derivation of uh, I with respect to time into my integral section I will have an output as a I which is my current and I know if I multiply this current with uh, um, if I multiply this current with the integral section I will have an output as a Q and by multiplying this Q with the reciprocal of a charge I will have the voltages across a capacitor which is somehow my output according to this diagram now as I have got this di over dt here which is uh, present in equation which is vl equals to l di over dt so now I know di over dt is a resultant of something coming from the left side which means if I make di over dt as my subject I can achieve VL times 1 over L will be equals to di over dt which means if I just simply multiply the reciprocal of an inductor and multiply this block with the voltage drop across the inductor I can have our VL now the second challenge for us is to find out what is VL and as we know that VL is the voltage drop across the inductor which are present in our very first equation equation number one in which we have a V in as a subject which is equals to the sum of voltage drop across the resistor across the capacitor and an inductor so by making VL which is the voltage drop across the inductor as my subject I can achieve VL equals to positive V in negative VC and negative VR so which means I'm going to use a summation block here and we'll send a positive V in a negative VR and a negative VC now as I can see that VC can be directly taken from the output and can send it back into this summation block make sure we put the right signs for the right voltages which is negative vc negative vr positive v in because in this equation we can see the v in is positive however vc and v are now in negative because making this vl as a subject so we got our vc here we got our v in and v are here now the only thing we are lacking to finish this block diagram is to find out what is our v r now as we can see from this uh, uh, this variable name v r that this is equals to v r and v r is available in equation number two in which we have v r equals to the product of current times with the constant name r which is the resistance of a uh, of a resistor so now we can take this i directly pick from here and can send it into a block that is having a name of a constant which is r representing the resistance of a resistor and can send it back into here depending upon the sign which we can see from the equation which is here and that's how we can finish our block diagram and we can just write down this is our input section we got all this control here a control diagram that concludes how to uh, how we have integrated and differentiated the different terms to achieve our main objective and we are having an output here make sure we can write down this input here so the person can easily understand and that is our output so guys that is how it was very easy to draw this block diagram for rlc circuit it is my recommendation to watch this diagram 
to make sure we clearly check everything where we have output and input and thank you very much for watching my video i would be very happy if you guys can hit the bell icon uh, please do subscribe my channel like and comment and i'm more than happy to take any advice so i can make these videos better for you so you guys can have a better understanding with these terms and uh, i hope you guys can understand uh, things better so thank you very much for watching my video please like subscribe comment and hit the bell icon and i will see you in the next video thank you very much